Alright, good morning folks. It's 4.35. It's 29.7 degrees. It's May 20th. It's day 48. And, uh, waking up at 12,000 feet elevation. Good morning, folks. 6, 16 in the morning, just breaking out of camp, just a couple minutes later than, uh, than planned. But, uh, you know, two people are ahead of me, only one's behind. It's coming right behind, so I've got no one to blame but myself on this one. <laughs> uh, boy, last night did not sleep great, don't mind telling you. It was windy, windy, windy still windy but now it's windy and last night it was insane so I, I guess I could mark that as an improvement in conditions um, it's just about I don't think I gave the temperature it's right at around freezing I checked it at one minute and it was 31 checked it the next minute it was 33 but it had been in the Sun so I'm comfortable calling it somewhere right around 32 um, yeah really really didn't sleep great last night I think I'll be lucky to have gotten like five or six hours of actual sleep which isn't terrific, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, and today is a, a whole new day, so um, so we're going. <laughs> uh, I mean, who the heck, who in the heck even knows what the plan is for today? I think we're all kind of hoping for 15. And again, if we can do more, that'd be great. But um, word around the campfire is uh, no one's doing more than 15s through this section, especially starting today here, just about 20 miles into this section. Um, so we're going to hope for 15, if that's the case, uh, it will have been just about half as much elevation as yesterday, but again, I don't think it was the elevation really yesterday that was, uh, that was hurting us so much as it was the, just the wind and the conditions and perhaps even the, the, the mildly out of shape condition of having taken a week off. So, well, we'll see, whatever it is, it is, we'll do what we can do and then we'll stop. So, um, here's hoping. For a slightly more jubilant day today than yesterday but uh we'll definitely see how we go so <laughs> all right i'm gonna get hiking i gotta warm up i will talk to you guys later on
All right, folks, good afternoon. 3 or 4 p.m. Just finishing some lunch. Check out that amazing view behind me. Not too bad. We got the team up ahead carrying on. Ooh, it's nice to have a full belly, but uh, can be a little tricky to march on, although marching on an empty belly is not a whole ton better. Um, it's been a hard day so far. It's been a tricky day. It's also been a very beautiful day. So, um, you know, this is what it is. So, let's see, I think we're about 12.1 miles into the day. We're gonna, we were just talking about going another two or three, four, I don't know. Um, we got a big old climb, big climb ahead of us. We're gonna kick off in about a mile. I think we're gonna gain about 750 feet over the course of one mile. So, certainly not the craziest climb I've ever done, but definitely a good climb. It's gonna be right up those mountains there. Should be great. Um, so two things I did not mention this morning that I don't want to let slip any later than this. Uh, first off, most importantly, I realized, or I saw that, that uh, what, seven folks, seven folks, seven of you um, made donations to the hike while I was off trail this past week. Ooh, pardon the stumble. And, uh, and I really, really, really appreciate that. Again, it's not, I'm not out here to make money, believe me. I would lose a considerable amount of money on this, but, um, so it's not, it's not really my goal, but it's, it's definitely nice to know that, to know that some of you are uh, enjoying this enough to kind of, kind of uh, help support me along the way. Um, truly, truly, every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. Uh, down I go. Oh. And uh, lost my phone. I'm gonna cross this, I'll be right back. All right, anyway, sorry about that. I'm gonna make this quick. So, huge thank you to Edwin, Mark, Alan, Phil, Julie, John, and Jonathan. I really, really, really appreciate your support. Really, really appreciate your uh, donation to the cause here. And this view's for you guys. Check that out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so that was the first thing I neglected to mention this morning. Second thing is that yesterday was indeed the first day since I got on trail that I touched neither a road nor a Continental Divide Trail alternate. And that is exciting. And so is this snowy traverse for which I will not be recording and stumbling all over the place. So anyways, thanks so much. I'll check in with you guys later. Side of that ridge. If you go down the back side, there's some hills that kind of run almost perpendicular. We came from the back side of those hills up kind of along the, the, the just the other side of the hump on that ridge. Dropped down somewhere over there was that first use of the ice axe. Came down, yep, came all the way around back here. We had lunch somewhere back behind that ridge and then uh, down around 
along this flat marsh. It was just marsh, and then right up, right up along sort of the seam of the snow here. And that, that was a real climb. <laughs> and it ain't nearly done. Oh man. Alright, I gotta catch up with the team. Guys, 545, 43.4 degrees. Made it to home for the night. So there's my camo duplex. And there's midnight. And then uh, Nurse and Martin are here as well, but they're just a little further off because uh, yet again, there's not much in the way of ideal camping. Like, they, well, they're, they're, there's, there's some decent camping, but not like a gross preponderance of group camping that's really ideal. So, um, we're all definitely in the same general vicinity, but not like, not super close. So, um, yeah, today was a pretty cool day. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was exciting. It was like a kind of revelatory, honestly. Like I didn't, um, I didn't really understand exactly what the hike was until we got to the tail end of it and we were able to see kind of the entire bowl that we had hiked. Um, and not only the entire bowl that we had hiked, but also kind of like to know that we did six miles before we even got to the earliest part that we could see of the bowl that we had hiked. So basically we did six miles. And then at the end of the day, when we saw the whole bowl, the first spot we saw was once we had hit six miles. I don't know if that makes sense, whatever. Um, and it was, it was a pretty impressive sight, if I may say so myself. I feel like I'm pretty proud of us. I feel like it was a pretty good effort. Um, not super, not too many like hugely terrifying things. Definitely a couple of kind of like wonky things, but nothing, um, I mean, it would have been a little scarier had there not been a group, I think. So um, I was happy to have the folks with me that I had with me, and uh, and it was fun and fine. And uh, now it's pretty cold. It's really nice when the sun comes out, but um, it isn't coming out much anymore. So um, yeah, I think the plan for tomorrow is uh, break out of here at six again. Uh, a bit of not not the saddest news ever, I guess, when it comes to like walking on snow-covered mountain slopes, but. Um, I think Martin is going to be taking his leave of the rest of us. Um, he is just, he just kind of hikes at a different speed. And I know he's got some foot, some foot issues that are definitely slowing him down. Um, so I think, it, and honestly, if I was in his, his position, I would probably do the same thing to, um, to jump off and take, uh, take the creed cut off and just kind of save yourself the wet feet that just can't be avoided out here and instead, uh, take some road walking and stuff. So uh, but we will have like the better part of the day tomorrow with them, if not, if not all day. I'm not really sure exactly what tomorrow is going to look like mileage-wise. But uh, but yeah, it's been a pleasure hiking with them, and hopefully, I definitely hope that we can all link up with them again uh, at some point down trail. You know, um, anything else? Anything else? I think that's it. Um, yeah, thank you again to folks who donated to the hike. That's really great. And yeah, today I guess was the second day I didn't touch either an alternate or a road. So that was pretty cool. All right, with that, I'm gonna turn in process video, all that business, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.